Guys, so the second part to what I was talking about. Uh, the emotional aspect of it, of trying to get pregnant again, when you didn't really have any problems with your first time, or even maybe you've had three kids and you're trying for the fourth kid and you're struggling and going through all of this. I mean, it could happen at any time. Secondary infertility could happen to anybody at any stage. And I am kind of, you know, just learning more about it as I go along and I don't know where my journey is going to end up. I don't know if I'll end up with a second child. I pray for it and try everything I can try. I still want to do more fertility testing and that's just dependent on the money. Um, none of this stuff is cheap and none of it's covered with my insurance. And I don't know how people even pay for all this, to be honest. I don't know how, you know, some people have like four IUIs when I'm looking at about $900 each IUI and I don't even know how to come up with the money for one IUI. You know what I'm saying? So I wish there was some changes with that though. I really do. I don't think that people who are trying to get pregnant are having a hard time or even trying for their first child. I don't think that they should have to pay anything for treatments. Nobody wishes this. Nobody made this happen. Nobody's like, you know, um, wanting to be in this position. So we didn't ask to have problems with our uterus or tubes or sperm or anything. It's not anything you can control. So I just, I hate that whole aspect too. I just should just move to Canada and <laughs> do their health insurance where you don't even have to pay anything. I'll just look into that. But anyways, so back to things I've been up to. I have started my own little Etsy shop slash business on the side. Um, I'll put a link to it. I'm very excited about it. I have a few things up for Halloween. Um, the store is called Unique and Yours. Unique is spelled U-N-E-E-K. Um, it's been something I can really, you know, just get away from everything that's going on and spend some time making crafts, which I love to do. I love crafts. Like, I love putting things together and being creative, and, and that's just me. That's always been me. So, like, even little stuff to do, like this. Like, I've started doing some comic book heels. If you can see, I liked that girl. Um, you know, even some fun stuff. Where's that other heel I was working on? Oh, working on these were black originally, and I've painted them pink and I've added some little gems there. And then I'm starting to do some drawing on the side. I'll be drawing on that, and I want to get that all painted. And have that be pretty cool, kind of like a, you know, a tattoo theme. Like, here is my design I've done, and that would just be kind of like on the wedge of it. And then I've also gotten into, um, I'll show you, some deco mesh. I have started doing some wreaths, which are very fun. I think they're you know, you can be as creative as you want. You can throw as many stuff as you want into them. And there's so many different kinds. Like, I mean, I've got this guy right here, which is a burlap one on a foam wreath with some burlap roses I made. Um, and then I've got, you know, this Thanksgiving one, if you can see. Sorry, I'll try to get that better. Thanksgiving burlap one, you know, it's like the bubble kind, and this is all made out of burlap and everything, and these are all, sewn them all on myself, and stuff like that. I've got some uh, Halloween placemats I've made, and um, I know Halloween's coming up quick, and I'm going to go ahead and start working on some Christmas ones, Christmas wreaths, and little projects and stuff I'm just excited about and that's what I've been up to like getting that going so I guess that's it for now
Maybe I'll do a video soon, hopefully. Maybe I'll have some more answers soon. Um, maybe I'll just talk about it more. I don't know. Um, so yeah, if you're watching these videos, I just thank you for watching. And I wish you the best. And I'm always thinking about all the women out there trying to conceive and having problems. And I'm still, I'm on YouTube quite a bit watching videos. So if you're um, vlogging your journey, go ahead and send me a message or a comment and I would love to watch it. Um, always thinking about you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.